I just want to touch on Boris Johnson. Boris, I want to look you in the eye and tell you, shame on you. How dare you come into our place of worship, the house of our guru, and promote alcoholism and promote alcohol. How disconnected are you from our people, from society, and from the British public as a whole, that you think it would be a decent thing to promote the trade of whiskey between India and the UK in a place of worship? You should be ashamed of yourself. And you know what? I was really disappointed with the whole of the Conservative Party when they actually defended Boris Johnson. They made it look like it was one crazy lady mm -hmm. that actually had a problem with it and everybody else celebrated it. So I was really upset and very disappointed in the Conservative Party. So if you are a member of the Conservative Party, I'd urge you to write a letter to Boris Johnson and to the, your MP in charge and to the Conservative Party and ask them to to actually go against Boris and say he's done something wrong and apologize. Because Sikhs all across the nation and across the world are very upset right now at the comments of Boris Johnson and he should un uh, uh, apologize properly. You know, So I I I'm very upset about that and that should never happen. The second Benthi request I have is for any Sikh organization, any Sikh human being and any Sikhs that lead the committees Please do not allow these politicians that are there for their own sakes to come into our places of worship for their publicity stunts and disrespect not only the Sangat, but everybody else. If they come in, we should be able to ask them open questions. We should be able to question them about what they can do for us and make it an actual event. I'm sick of publicity stunts. That should not happen in our places of worship and we're selling ourselves short. The last thing I'd like to say is, the Sikh nation, don't blame yourself. If Boris Johnson is an ignorant, arrogant, I'll say it today in this topic, fool, that's not our fault. As a politician, as a seasoned politician and a leader, the former London mayor, as the foreign secretary, he should know better. So it's not our fault, it is his fault, he should apologize, and the Conservative Party should apologize. However, there's a lot of work that we can, we can learn from it, and move forward together on it. And that's another reason that I really am standing myself, because I want to see a positive change in England. I want to see a positive change in Wolverhampton. There's a lot of issues in Wolverhampton Southwest and in the Wolverhampton area with housing, homelessness, jobs, um, businesses needing help. And you know what? It's my hometown, and I'm going to be there to help them. If you vote somebody else in, if you vote another one of these people that are just about the party, you, they're not going to really care about the local people. I live in the local area. I'm, gonna, I'm raising my family there. We have a young baby that we're, we want to make sure that Wolverhampton is going to be the can. And you know what? I'm really excited that Wolverhampton Southwest can have national exposure because they can send a message globally to say, you know what? We want to vote for change. We want to vote for the the, di the correct direction for our country. So I really am excited for that. Okay, perfect. Thank you for it.